the Advent Settings, I begin with a new Sakura card cutters, clear cards, uh, anime review. Yeah, uh, last Sunday was an adorable episode, I must admit it. Sakura and Akiho's lullaby. We start the episode with Sakura practicing her reading skills with Kero. She must not stutter because, well, she will read for a lot of people. The basic idea is uh, reading with Yukito, but she invites Akiho to read with her, also Shoran, but well, he got traumatized from the elementary school plays and Sakura suggests, well, you can play the piano while we are reading. Yeah, she asked pretty please and his HP went zero. Yeah. Because, yeah, please, Shoda, Anengashimas. Same goes to Akiho when she thanks her for, you know, reading with her and not Sakura reading alone. We cut to Shoda talking to Way? Way? I was about to say Yue. Because he needs some song, uh, chores, not chores, but something that he can play while Sakura and Akiho are reading the story. His sisters are so proud of him, but when he figures out that they are listening, he asks, stop sending me videos and photos of food. <sighs> I feel sorry for Shona, really, because being the only guy, especially the youngest among four other sisters, I feel so sorry for him. But they are not bad sisters, they just worry about him. We then see Akiho practicing on her reading for the Next day, a brief talking between Akiho and Kaito. Huh, well, she still had some troubles reading in Japanese, but she's taking little notes and not writing in the book because books are not meant to be written on unless you are in school and you need to take notes. That's for sure. On the following day, we see Yukito reading and he is good because he's been practicing a lot and he has been reading a lot for everyone. Sakura and Akiho are nervous after the performance of Yukito. Shoran calms them down because, well, you've been practicing, you're, you're okay, you guys are okay, no, no need to worry. They read the story with no issue, even when kids interrupt them. Shora improvises them until they calm down. Akiho sings as well too. Nonetheless, the kids loved it. I personally think I've heard this story before. And this episode kinda reminded me when I read my storybook to kids. Yes, I wrote a story and yeah, I went to school nearby my house and read for the kids. Sadly, the other school nearby didn't invite me, so whatever. Their reading was a success. When they return home, Kero wants to see the play, play uh, I mean, what they just did. Sakura somehow managed to use the record card, but the recording she recorded was something else. In fact, it was something from the past. Kero realizes and go and talk to Yue. I mean, it's late, but he needs to talk to Yue. Sakura is getting stronger very strong indeed because Kero mentions that the only uh, 
people that could record the past were very very powerful um, magicians and she inherited the claw cards and transform them to Sakura cards and now she's capturing new cards Sakura is getting more powerful and speaking of I've seen on a um, comment that I follow on Twitter and she said well on the last episode when you when we see Shara binding Blaze uh, they said that's windy sakura can realize that shara is holding up to something but she di didn't realize her own card hmm so maybe shara is using her powers that's why it's very very uh, hard to handle it because sakura is indeed too much strong <laughs> that doesn't exist but it doesn't matter she's getting stronger and well Shara is having a hard time to get the cards for her we will have to see what this is all about because even though i'm not a kid anymore and I'm like oh i don't understand i'm like i'm curious now i'm very curious how clamp will end up with this so guys um thanks a lot for watching and make sure you like, comment, fave, and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I've been very, very busy. I'm so sorry for that. But I'll manage it. Like always, and once again, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take care.